Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. The restaurant industry is getting completely slammed. They're getting hammered by all kinds of things. So it was announced yesterday, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Raising Cane's Chicken. It's a fast food joint that, um, fast food chain that uh, sells chicken. I love chicken. And they just announced yesterday that they are having such a difficult time getting employees that they are uh, releasing approximately half of their corporate staff to go and work as fry uh, cooks, front end people, anywhere they can at any of these locations that need them desperately because they literally cannot hire anybody. There are not enough people to hire. Now, let's talk about the uh, the um, implications of this. So it's one thing to have a chicken shortage or a food shortage, right? Where every time the a restaurant is unable to sell an item, that's one less item it can sell, right? Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, if uh, you have a chicken shortage, right? Well, restaurants that rely on chicken, if chicken is uh, heavily included in their, uh, their menu, and I'm not saying there's a chicken shortage right now, we've sort of went through that, it's, on the, it's getting a little better, but I think it's gonna get a little worse pretty soon. And uh, if, if they can't sell the items, that's less things they can sell. Also, if they can't get employees to work, then they, they aren't at full staffing. We've, we've talked about this before where McDonald's has shut down the entire dining room area and they only have the drive through open because they only have enough staff to work one or the other, right? So they're limited in what they can sell and they, they're limited in how many uh, items or how many people they could process at any given time through the restaurant. So this is absolutely horrible. And what I believe you're gonna see by December is more and more restaurants closing down, just shutting their doors. We've covered this about a couple months ago where restaurants were saying, hey, look, there's a, a chain that's literally shutting off every other uh, restaurant within a certain geographical zone because I look, look, we need to shift the employees from one restaurant, the half of our staff, over to the other restaurant that has half staff, but it's busier, a busier location, so we can run at full capacity. And then that other store is, has pretty much been shuttered. Well, as this happens, we have more and more employees or more and more restaurants closing down. That means there's less and less employment when people finally come back because i believe it was what seven million people in the last two weeks have now uh been taken off of unemployment and there's going to be a point where they start to rush in for these jobs but they're going to find less and less jobs in my hometown i live in a small town i grew up in my town i love it um but we've already lost uh, a bed bath and beyond we've lost uh what was it staples or office I don't remember. Um, but what I'm saying is that uh, you know, these large chains are closing down their doors because they're saying, hey, why would we have, you know, one store, you know, every 15 minutes, we'll just cut the one in the middle out, close it up and shift all the products and the employees to those other two outlying stores. So there's going to be less jobs available. When you couple that now with uh, as uh, commercial real estate already has some issues. We've been talking about commercial mortgage-backed securities. When there's more and more uh, restaurants that are closing down, uh, the owners of these restaurants are gonna try and fill the vacancies, but eventually they're gonna start selling, liquidating. And I'm telling you, that's gonna be an amazing opportunity for commercial uh, buyers. That's where I'm getting ready in this next cycle. And it's a long game. I'm expecting this, you know, when commercial starts to tank, I believe we're gonna see a, a multi-year, I mean, honestly, I, I'm, I'm expecting a five year, even more year uh, cycle where it dips to come back. So it's a long game, but it's getting worse, guys. I mean, to see, you know, it, Raising Cane's Chicken is now and I'm gonna put, I'll put a link to the articles that I've been reading. They're taking half of their executive staff. So that even strains them even more with half the staff working the executive offices too. So hope you guys got something out of this. I thank you for your time. The Economic Ninja is out.